Okay. I just spent like an hour looking at all the taco places in New York. I found five that I think are like the best ones. There was a shooting in Brooklyn, so I'm gonna avoid Brooklyn today. So five taco places, let's go. I had to ask the woman if I could sit in the corner because I want to do a video. How embarrassing is that? So stop number one is La Esquina. Here it is. I got the chicken one because that's, that's the most recommended one. Or that's the most popular one. I'm going to get asked to change my drink. There's a Jatiro's, which sounds really nice. So this is the This is the chicken taco. I'm starving now. Chicken's a little bit dry. It's adobo grilled chicken. Can't really taste adobo. Can't really taste adobo that much. But I love corn tortillas. I've got mandarin. So sweet. The drinks are so sweet. I also want some hot sauce. I don't know what the protocol is. I'm on my way to my next taco place. It's Los Tacos, this is the main one. This is the one where everywhere online it says this is the best one. So hopefully it is. Maybe it's not. I'm wondering, because I don't want to get too many tacos and be too full, but also I want to make sure I get all the right ones. I might just ask for like the most popular one again. Also, what's weird is that the most popular one is like right next to Times Square. You'd usually think that the best ones aren't next to like the busiest part of the city. I was told a Dobana, the marinated pork, is the most popular one, so that's what I'm gonna get. It's really, really busy. But it's so cheap. It's like 4 85 It's amazing. I also have horchata, which is like rice, milk, and cinnamon. I won't try it for such a long time, so I'm gonna get that too. Can I have one of the marinated pork, and what's the other most popular one, steak? Oh, chicken and steak. Can I have one chicken, one steak, and one pork? Because I don't want to get too many tacos and be too full. Uh, one steak, one chicken, and one pork? Yeah, and do, the whole chocolate, is that cold? Can I have one of those though? I shouldn't have got three. Pork is so juicy. Chicken. Oh. Last one's a steak one. This is in a flour tortilla as well because I want to try it. You can see there's so much filling in it. They're all so different, but all so good. This was amazing. So these tacos are definitely the best. The vibes are the best. Chicken one is so juicy. And nobody cares that I'm filming. Nobody cares. The lady just came up to me. I was like, oh my god, that's so cool. And I was like, oh my god, it's so embarrassing. But she didn't think it was embarrassing. I really hope you can hear all of this. It's quite loud. These sauces, these sauces are so good. Because there's just so much flavor and they're all perfectly seasoned. And they're juicy, but like, it's not falling apart. Like the other one was completely like disintegrating. But this was sitting for a bit and it's still like not falling apart. I'm also getting really full. I've got three other places to go to. But these are so good. I'm so full. I'm only two out of three down. I feel like I'm gonna do a sicky. I need to sit down somewhere. But there's nowhere to sit down, so I'll just walk to the next one, I guess. Okay, so I really need to pee, and nowhere is free to pee here. 
So I'm in this random cafe and I've got a Kit Kat because apparently American Kit Kats are really shit. So I have to try. Um, plastic's a bit different as well. They look the same, kind of. The Kit Kat logo is a bit different. Oh wow, it is really different. It's so much sweeter. And the chocolate is more grainy. But it's so, so sweet. Do you get those Easter eggs? And the shitty, like, one pound Easter eggs, so the quality of chocolate is really bad. That's what it tastes like. Whereas usually Kit Kats are, like, nice and enjoyable. These are horrendous. I don't even want more. That was $2. Great. I've been walking for such a long time. I had half my whole chapter. And I went to Starbucks last time to put ice and a special shot on it, so it's only $2. Money saving tips. I'm almost near location three. I'm still really full. I think there's a park nearby. Are you allowed to like take naps here in the park? Who knows? Okay, the place I was meant to go is closed, but also I googled the place. It's not even a taco place, it's a Spanish place. I don't know why I had it in my head that it was a taco place. I don't think I even Googled it. I just spent an hour looking at all the taco places in New York. So thank God it was closed because I would have went in ordered and been like, where are the tacos? I took a break, sat down for a bit. Now walking again to the next one. Good thing is I'm not as stuffed anymore. And the next place I'm going to has fish tacos, which I'm really excited for because it's a little bit more fresh. And then I'm going to a fifth one. Wait, no, I've only been to two. So I skipped one out and then I don't know how many we're going to get. Let's see if we get five. Okay, so I'm in number three. Los Mariscos. It's in Chelsea Market. I to walk like an hour to get here, so I'm actually quite hungry now. I got a fish and a spicy shrimp one. And it was weird to get in. You had to like go through all these little corners um, and it was quite hard to find. It was also right next to another Lost Tacos number one. They have another one here in Chelsea Market, which is interesting because they're so close together. This one isn't as busy, which is a shame. But let's see how it is. Maybe there's a reason. <laughs> So they have this like peanut chili oil. It's called this. And it smells so good. It's like sesame, I think it's like salsa matcha. It's peanuts, chili de arbol, and oil. And peanuts. Peanut oil? He says it's similar to salsa matcha. Interesting. Mexican crispy chili oil. Here they are. This one is the enchilada, which is shrimp and cheese. The quantity is a lot thicker. Mm. Oh wow, it's so fresh. Oh my god. Might be my favorite. Oh, that's amazing. Next one is the fish one. Oh, the fish is fried. Amazing. Mm. It's fried, but it's also fresh. And it's got a spicy sauce on top. And the slaw. It's amazing. And also really full. So it's not even that like I'm starving. Wow, this is by far the best fish tacos I've had. There's like, there's not too much going on. I'm gonna try it with this um, peanutty thing. Corn tortillas make such a big difference. It's very spicy, but it's so good. It's like literally, if you had a crispy chili oil and instead it was all Mexican, that's what this will taste like. So full. Um, there's still one more, maybe two more I need to go to. Okay, this is number four. We're in Taco Bandito. It's in 8th Avenue. I only got one because I'm so stuffed. And they're really, really cheap, which is great. And I got the chili, chili beef one. So we'll see how this. Oh, it's all wrapped up. That's fun. This is exactly like the tacos that 
you'd imagine. Cheese, lettuce, tomatoes, beef. And they give you a little pot of chili sauce. I'm glad I'm trying one of these actually. Just like off the side. Like $150. This one's really good. It tastes like like an American Mexican taco rather than like a Mexican one. But for the price size, it's really good. What's also good is the chili actually tastes really nice. Compared to the first one I went to where everything was dry, bland, this is cheap, tastes good, not dry, bland. Last one, Whee! I want to vomit. I'm gonna do it. Here's the last one, and that's it. This is taco beef, and I think I'm just gonna get one because I'm so full. Even though I really want to try two. I'm just gonna get, they said the carne asadas, which is the beef one. I haven't really had a lot of beef one yet, like strips of beef, so that'll be nice to try. Burritos, quesadillas. I'm not gonna get anything else because I'll die. But watermelon juice. That sounds really nice. Watermelon. No. Oh wait, do you have to fill it out? Uh, yeah, yeah. It's just one of these, that's it. Anything to drink? Um, can I just have ice tap water, please? Yeah, sure. Thank you. Also, for when I was asking people, um, they said that a really, really nice hacker place in Brooklyn but they were all like right next to where the shooting was and I don't want to go there. So these will just have to do this time. Me with the torch on. I hate having to use But there it is. Actually looks really, really good. The lime has no juice. <laughs> Maybe some fresher limes. Not amazing, but pretty good. I do like how the steak's in like a big piece. I think it was a bit thicker. I'd like a bit more, but it's great. I would say for the price, either third or fourth, because it's juicy, it's seasoned properly. The taco shells a bit weak. They're already a bit breaking apart a little bit. I could see it if I held, had it, if I held it a bit longer, it would just fall apart. But other than that, pretty decent. So yeah, that's five done. I probably should have put a final thoughts of my taco expedition. So number one was, oh, I think as the names are really hard to pronounce, I'm gonna butcher them completely. I'm so, so sorry. Maricos. So number one was Los Maricos. It was the best fish tacos I've had. So, so delicious. And it was flavors that I haven't necessarily had before, which is why I really liked it. Like. Lost Tacos number one is great, but I've kind of had the flavors before. I kind of knew what I was expecting. I was not expecting Los Maricos, which was like shrimp and then cheese. And they had salsa matcha, which was so bloody good. And the fish tacos, again, so, so fresh. Loved it, nice vibes. Then it was Lost Tacos number one. I went to the one next to Times Square because I always try to go like to the flagship or like the main ones because I feel like that's where you usually get the best experience. Then number three, Los Bandito or La Bandito, which was like dirt cheap. It was basically like Taco Bell, but more filling and cheaper. If you just want a cheap, greasy taco, that's what you want. Really good flavor, super juicy, a lot of filling, loved it. Number four was the last one I went to, Taco Imba something like that oh i'm so sorry which was again very delicious steak tacos i wish there was bigger pieces of steak in it because of slices i wanted like more meaty steak really good last one was la esquina absolute trash didn't like it at all tacos were dry not seasoned properly and super expensive the most expensive out of all of them if they were cheaper i would have been okay with it but because they were the most expensive um i didn't rate it at all but that's it